going on everybody it's your boy clean with another video up in the house how you guys been yeah me too yesterday I went out messed around with the back tire a little bit tightened up the valve stem because the tire was flat pumped it up then squirted it down with the uh, soapy water and I found the culprit little baby nail went through it so now we really need to get that back tire on as soon as I can figure out how. Hopefully it won't take too long. Pumped it up this morning. Well, yeah, we'll go for a little, little joy ride. We'll mess around a little bit on the bike. Pumped it up with a foot pump that I bought. <laughs> and checked my flute. I'm gonna check my oil, you know, everything else got all suited up got on the bike went to go fire it up dead battery <laughs> hey when it rains it pours right but hey boom we're back on the bike for another episode another video not another episode I don't know why I said episode it's just a YouTube channel video but hey we're on the bike cruise around a little bit Go see what kind of trouble we can get into. Oh, little race cars. Those are cool. No foot down, no foot down. Ha ha ha. So, you see my little mini video that I just posted the other day. I rode to Walmart twice. Didn't take the didn't take my uh, GoPro. Just jumped on the bike. Rode up to Walmart, bought some stuff, went home, turned around, had to go back to Walmart, get some more stuff. The very next day, wake up, and it had been snowing all night and all morning. And it continued to snow until that evening. Oh, I'm so tired of the snow. I'm ready for nice weather. I'm ready to get a tire on this bike. And ready to start riding on a daily basis again. But, you know, we live in northeastern Nevada. Our spring, we don't get April showers. We get April snow. And that's all right, too. Nice car, dude. Old school. <laughs> yeah, we, we get snow. We don't get much rain. We get snow. But it's working on towards the end of the month. It is the 17th of April today. Saturday and I thought well let's do whatever we got to do to get on the bike for even if it's just for a little bit I can already tell this back tire is already getting low I aired it up first then ended up putting the trickle charger on the battery for about an hour I did bring my foot pump with me just in case and brought some extra GoPro batteries and parts and pieces just in case because you never know what you're gonna be going doing. Like I have I have no set thing that I need to get done other than at some point I need to go get stuff for dinner again. We are having barbecue ribs, probably mashed potatoes, gravy, and probably corn. So, yeah, at some point I gotta go do all that. But that doesn't have to be right now. Anyway, we're just gonna cruise around and see what we can get into. We'll catch you guys in just a little bit. Peace. Right now, I'm just going to go run up to Harley Davidson here in Elko, Nevada and go check out, see what they got going on because I haven't been up there for a while. And I don't know. I'm kind of debating right now about maybe uh, getting me a uh, <laughs> tire plug kit thing. <laughs> see if I can't pull that nail out, plug the tire and keep some air in it until I can get my, back, my new back tire on. Because I really do enjoy riding. My truck's really acting up right now with the transfer case going out. 
So until I can get that brand new back tire on this bike, I gotta do something other than keep pumping it up every time I wanna ride. And it's not like I really go anywhere. I just puts around town, not going, hitting the freeway, not going for longer journeys. Right now, I'm just going to the store. Uh, I like to take it to work every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? really becoming a nuisance to have to air up the tire before I can even go for a ride. Plus it's probably not good for me to be riding on it with that little nail in there right now because that nail dislodge is going to flying out. Now I have a flat tire and <laughs> my little air pump's not going to air it up to get me home. <laughs> so I'll probably end up doing that for right now. Probably plug it just going to be a temporary thing until I can get that back tire on. Just a matter of uh, waiting for my buddy to have some time to let me get out there and we can get it done. So we're going to go run up to Harley Davidson and go poke around up there for a little bit. I know you're all probably going to ask me, well Clink, why don't you just go have Harley go do it? Well, two reasons. Much as I love the guys up here at our Harley shop, one, kind of expensive to have the Harley dealership put a tire on even if you have the tire too my Harley dealership will not install this particular tire because I went with a Shinko 777 again and it was against their policy to have anything to do with that tire so what can you say your boy's cheap so we're gonna run up there anyway just hang out for a minute go check out what they got plus I haven't seen any of the 2021's in person yet only in videos and pictures so we're gonna run up here and go see what they got do you guys just hang out <laughs> we'll catch you here in just a little bit peace what's going on everybody we're back yeah short little quick trip over there Hang out with a couple guys up there and talk for a little bit. Tried, <laughs> tried talking him into throwing this new back tire on this bike. He's like, when I told him I needed a new tire, of course, he's doing his job. He says, well, 400 bucks, we'll get a brand new back tire on that thing for you. I said, I have the back tire got a brand new one sitting there at my house he says well that's a hundred bucks we'll throw a new back tire on there I says yeah but this is a tire remember that you refused to do last year he says oh Shinko 777 yeah we can't do that I tried I was hoping to talk him into it but not gonna happen no worries he did he did mention he says well why don't you just put a plug in that hole it would be all right temporary i wouldn't be taking no long you know 100 plus mile trips or anything but popping around town he says it'll do just fine until you get that tire on there and then of course he started questioning me why am i using a shinko tire or should say shinko tires on my harley and i told him the price man I can get both tires for less than I can get the one rear tire that they want me to put on this bike. So that's why I go with Shinko's. No, they don't last long. But just like everything else in life, you get what you pay for. So I'll stick with my Shinko's for right now until, you know, I become rich or famous or at least rich, right? <laughs> so we're just cruising around a little bit more. I think. Uh, might be ending this video here shortly. I think I'm gonna run up to Walmart, go get the stuff for dinner and see if I can find a plug kit. And roll home and park the bike, let it cool down a little bit and proceed to maybe see if I can get a plug in that back tire. So at least I don't have to keep putting air in the dang thing every time I wanna go take a quick ride. And hopefully I'll get it done and maybe tomorrow I can shoot another quick video or something. Maybe I can do a little bit more other than just popping around, you know, like I did today. But hey, we'll see what happens, right? 
Anyway, hang ten, and we'll be back here just a little bit. Peace. Ow. Well, that didn't exactly last very long, everybody. Yep, you guessed it. Gotta get some air in this back tire. Ran into Walmart, still looked all right. Come out of Walmart as I'm walking up towards the bike. Uh, not all right no more. So we'll see if we can get air here. Hopefully it's not, you know, takes quarters or something where I have to go in the store and go buy something with get change, which it looks like it is. Oh, you're gonna run a debit card, credit card. Well, isn't that just lovely? Dollar fifty. Run a credit card is a dollar seventy-five. Yeah, you can keep your air. I got a foot pump before I go that route. Holy cow, people. Dollar seventy-five. Use my debit card to get air. For, uh, uh, uh. What? Ha it's air. Come on, people. <laughs> it is air. You breathe it every day. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, we're not flat, flat. Well, let's see if we can't baby this thing over to where I know. I can get free air, which is over by my house. And I think at that point, if I'm over by my house, I might as well just go home. <laughs> we'll see if we can't make it safely. Oh my gosh, $1.75 to use a debit or credit card to get air. That's ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. Anyway. Enough about my rant about getting air. So, next step, we're gonna get home. Unload groceries, because my backpack's kind of heavy. I was in there, I'm like, you know what? Let's get a 12 pack of beer. I'm almost out of beer. Before you guys give me crap, I gotta realize I'm on a very, very tight budget. I didn't go with natural light or anything, but I did get Bud Light. 12 pack Bud Light can, a little something to sip on this evening. Gotta cook some ribs. Get home, get all this put away, and I'm gonna go right away to into trying to plug this back tire and get it aired up, see if it holds air overnight. And if I can get up it tomorrow and uh, there happen to be air in the tire, it's still good to go. I will be on the bike again tomorrow because it's supposed to be another nice day today. Speaking of nice days, let's see, it's 57 degrees and sunny today, which is great because it has been snowing, cold, cloudy as all get out. So it is kind of nice to be back out in the sunlight again. Whoop. Oh yeah, that back tire is extremely low right now. I don't think I'm going to go home. I think I need to find some air. And maybe at this point in my life I should have paid the dollar seventy-five to fill it up. <laughs> oh really? Jesus people. Just dump your drink right out in front of a bike. Some people can be ignorant, especially in my little town. But hey, at least I was smart enough to see it and move away from it, right? Boom boom boom. Oh, they got air tank there. Um, it looks like it's either being used or it's down or something. I don't know. It looked like it was blocked. This is Shell Station up here is where I usually got air, but when I figured out I had a hole in my tire last year, last fall, this is the first place I came to and found out that they took the air pump out because people were running over the airline and breaking the air chuck and everything else, so they no longer. Well, they got an air hose there. I don't know. I know where I can get air. I'm going to go there. Hey, I'm a poet. Didn't know it. All right, guys. Hang 10. We'll catch up to you when we get air in this back tire. Then we'll cruise home. Peace. What's going on, everybody? We're back. Um, wasn't going to video this, but I thought, why not? We're going to attempt to plug this back tire and then air it back up and see if it holds air. So, 
enjoy this part of the video because this ought to be fun. <laughs> I'll set you guys down here for just a little bit. Whoop, whoop. First step is going to be taking the saddlebags off and getting them out of the way. Good times. I hear Mike. Over here trying to plug a tire. <laughs> oh, look, it happens to be right there. That's perfect. Roll it back just a touch. All right. Let's get you guys back up here, face, face to face here. Now, <sighs> found it. Oh, I need to go get pliers too. But I don't know if that'll zoom in, focus enough. There's a little damn nail right here. And I got to get that nail out and put a plug in it. Let's see if we can do this. I've never done it on a bike before, so it should be fun. <laughs> All right, check this out. Yeah. Whole little kit. Got for, what, 13 bucks at Walmart? It's awesome. All right, guys, hang 10. We'll be right back. Got to get pliers. Peace. All right, let's try this out. Um, happened to come across my dad's old Leatherman because I don't know where my needles my baby English that's hard I don't know where my needle nose went so got my dad's old Leatherman that I still have so we're gonna give this a shot we're gonna try to set you guys up hopefully you can see all that hope I'm not wasting my time on this video footage I'm gonna go ahead and pre set up this fine stuff Okay, pop that, pop that. And this stuff is sticky, let me tell you what. Hmm. Let's see if we can get it started. This ought to be a fun little game. There we go, bit again. There we go. Yeah. Just about like that. Alright, we're prepped. Now we're gonna go to town. Let's see if we can get this thing going, huh? First step. Get L oh, don't shove it in there further. I just shoved it in there further. Not a good start, brother. Go to this end. Gotta get it out first. Oh yeah, that's one heck of a leak. Here we go. Oh, that's a screw, not a nail. That's a big screw at that. Well, that'll make it easier to plug it, right? There we go. Yep. There's the culprit.
Come on, baby. I might need to put that in gear so it doesn't roll forward any further. Ha! Back down on my knees where I don't like to be. There we go. Yep, buddy. There it is. Plugged. And that only took everything I had. Darkest. All right. Tire be plugged. Now we gotta cut that end off. Hopefully I can. I don't know if I got anything sharp enough to cut that. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Oh, almost dropped you. <laughs> and that's how you plug a tire, apparently. First time for everything. So, uh, I'll throw some air in that and see if it's gonna leak. We'll be back. Peace. All right, all right, all right. I didn't do the, I didn't film me using my little foot pump to put it back up to air pressure. But, I'm gonna sit you guys down. We're gonna spray it with some soapy water and hopefully, you can see that bounce you back a little bit more sorry about that folks all right there's where we patched it spray some soapy water on it and see if it bubbles i think we're golden people ow it works now we'll see if we have air in, in the morning all right guys thanks for watching peace What's up, what's up, what's up, guys? Hey, we back, we back, we back. Um, okay, same day. Couldn't help myself. Still nice out. Um, little Miss asked me to go pick up a couple things from Walmart that I didn't know she wanted. Make a couple stops. Figured, jump back up on this beast. Now I got the tire plugged and um, let's go rip some more. <laughs> let's do this. Woo! Man, I can tell you what, I'm glad that I got that nail out. And I'm glad that this sucker is holding air finally. Makes me a little bit more comfortable about cruising it up to the Walmart or to the gas station or grocery store. So, with that being said, I'm just happy, happy, happy that the bike is functioning again and holding air in the back tire. And all that good stuff. Now, I don't need to procrastinate, even though I got the tire plugged for right now and it's holding air, I still need to get that new tire on it. Just so I can feel, you know, that much safer about it. Especially considering the fact that it's just a plug on a ball tire. And, you know, I just need that little security blanket, man. That just that little security knowing that I got a good back tire on it again. Plus it'll make it easier to you know do some hooligan crap and have some fun with it. Well for now, you know. You know. See it's too bald right now. All I do is burn out. See if I can do it on this rough stuff. I can get that nose up a little bit, but yeah. I need to get that new back tire on there. As soon as possible, you know, ASAP. Anyway, I'm gonna cruise to the store real quick. Go get a couple things. And close this video out. So hang 10. We're gonna rip. Yeah, buddy, get it! Woo! Love this bike. Hang 10. Bye. Peace. Alright, 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 guys, we're back. Woo! Get that dust off there. Um, first stop dealt with. Had to stop, pick up another coil for little Mrs. Vape. I quit vaping, I want to say about a, about a year or so ago. Well, not quite a year ago, I guess. She still vapes. So I'm still going to the vape shop, still saying hi to Jake. What's up, Jake? Peace. Um, get her supplies and stuff and all that good stuff. 
Now I'm gonna head up to Walmart. She's not feeling great. Says so she's got a little bit of upset stomach, so she wants me to pick her up some Pepfidol Bismol. And I believe she said she would like some apple juice. So, Pepto Bismol, apple juice it is. The little Miss wants, the little Miss gets, I guess. So we're gonna roll up there and uh, go get those couple things and go back home. So far, so good. Tires holding air. Checked it before I got on the bike and turned on the camera while I was over there at the vape shop. I'm still at 39 PSI. So it's been about 40, 45 minutes, I would guess, since I put that plug in and aired it back up to 39 PSI and it's still holding at 39 PSI. So that is looking a little more promising about not having to put air in the tire every single time I want to get on the bike and go for a short ride. Because that, my friends, gets old. So, in the meantime, I just now <laughs> looked in the, my mirror. My GoPro is crooked. What am I doing? You guys are probably looking at the world going, hey, what's going on, dude? Come on, Clink. Let's see if we can straighten that up. Why, don't mind my fingers. I'm going to put them in the way for a second. Woo. That's looking a little bit better. One more time. There we go. So yeah, here we go. Gonna go up to Walmart. And go get the couple little thing that little Miss wants. And go home, I guess, for the day. She's it was her idea for me to get out on the bike today. I think me being on vacation for the week, she's had about enough of my crap. When she suggests maybe you should go for a ride today, that tells me. She's politely saying, get out of the house, you bother me, kid. So, I did. Unfortunately, it wasn't too exciting. I did get to go see, uh, you know, I went up to the new heart, to, to uh, blah, 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 English retard. I did go up to the our Harley shop across town, Gold Rush Harley Davidson, and uh, chatted with them for a little bit. I got to check out the 2021 line that they do have there. It's just a small, small little Harley Davidson place, but it's a cool one. Um, got to see three different road, road glides. Everything from the standard version to the slightly hopped up version to the uh, special edition, which all three of them were pretty, not gonna lie, pretty nice. Um, something I can't afford. Those are, road glides are expensive, I'm not gonna lie. Um, they had a 2000, I believe it was 2020, um, 883, Sportster 883. Then they had some street lights, a few street, street lights out there. Then out front, which I should have shot video of, I sh really think I should have, they have three more used bikes for sale out there. And one of them, oh my gosh, from just from the front angle when I first looked at it I could have sworn to God it was a sucker punch Sally um, kind of got excited there for a second and then as I started rolling up closer to it I was going out the out the exit I realized it was just another sportster I know I say I say that like sportsters are bad things they're not I mean if I had a sportster I know exactly what I'd do with it I'd bob the crap out of it chop it down make it a hardtail put a springer front end on it suicide shifter you know that could be fun a little bar hopping around town toy but anyway yeah it was it was just a slightly modified i think it was looked like about a mid 90s sportster with uh apes and stuff on it and old school looking headlight uh, I, I honestly thought it was a Wow, okay. You just go ahead and go right on out there, California. Yeah, yeah. I, I honestly thought it was a Sucker Punch Sally, dude. Seriously. I mean, the angle I was looking at looked like the front end of Blockhead's Sucker Punch Sally. And if you haven't, haven't seen Blockhead's channel, he's got some awesome content. I mean, oh my God. Love watching the guy very 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 entertaining 
way better at the YouTube than I am, but one, he's been doing it longer. Two, he's got way, way, way more experience with this sort of stuff, you know, photography, stuff like that, videography. But if you don't, haven't checked him out yet, go check out Blockhead on YouTube, dude. Blockhead is one of my favorites to watch. Little shout out to you, Block. Boom. All right, guys. Well, hang tight. We'll be back. I'm going to run in the store and get the couple things I need. Peace. Wow. All right, all right, all right, guys. We're done. Got everything from Walmart. Got everything from the vape shop. Now that's all that left to do is go home, chill, maybe have a beer, start dating here in a little bit, and edit a video and get that thing up in the YouTube land. You just hang on right there, little dude, old dude, whatever the dude you are. And it was a great feeling to come out to the bike after being in Walmart for that long for a couple little things. To see that there's still air in the back tire of this bad boy. May not be fixed fixed, but it's redneck engineered. We got it together, holding air. Temporarily until I get the new tire on. I know, I know. Clink, what are you doing plugging a tire? Well, if it works, it works, dude. And trust me, it was broke. It needed fixed. <laughs> Got really, really old really, really quick. Have to put air in the tire before I could go anywhere. And then, like today, didn't make it very far without having to put more air in the tire because it was almost flat. Oh! Boop, 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 boop. Anyway, we are now going to end the video, I think. I know, do you know what? I actually shot an ending to this earlier, but then decided to go ahead and continue the video with uh, plugging the back tire. And then, little miss needed a couple things from the store, so I'm like, why not take it for a ride and test it out? So we're going to end the video here, guys and gals, and everybody else in between whatever I'm not, not even going there ah hey <laughs> sorry about that guys it was a little miss I didn't my I've got Bluetooth in my helmet I didn't hear a phone ring I didn't physically answer the phone touch a button or the screen of the phone I'm trying to do my little ending of my you know in my YouTube video for the day and all of a sudden she starts talking i'm like okay that was weird <laughs> anyway so yeah we're headed home now got everything we need tires still loaded here blah 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 so uh we're into the video now <laughs> so if you like the video give me that thumbs up Boom! if you haven't yet and you like what you see make sure you smash that subscribe button helps out the channel um Hit that bell icon, it'll let you know, it'll notify you when I put new content up on my channel. Until next time, folks, you know what old Clink always says, keep it rubber side down, shiny side up, and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace. Shout!